Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. And it's time for the weekly track roundup where I give my thoughts, my opinions, my feelings on a bunch of tracks that have dropped over the past week or so. Whether I loved them or hated them or felt somewhere in between, they are linked in the D box so you can check them out for yourself. Uh, I'm going to also link down there per usual our turntable lab link so we get kicked back from any time you buy some vinyl some turntable stuff some whatever over there check 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 it out uh, also our patreon page uh, you can use that and uh, support us through there and get some extra cool bonus monthly content in the process youtube shorts page is linked down below as well and uh, austin has a few shout outs for you guys to to check out in the d box uh for one the amazing a uh, space rock band spiritualized has a reissue of their classic record songs in A&E. She says, I feel like it's a bummer how the spiritualized reissue series doesn't add any bonus material, but I do think this one is his best and, uh, you know, we'll take an excuse to show some love to it. And, uh, you know, I, I full, uh, uh, fully agree with uh, that sentiment as this is an amazing album for sure, for sure. Uh, also Claire Rousey has a new record out, which Austin has been gaga for, uh, really dig the slow Corey singer songwriter turn Claire has taken here, uh, despite her being usually known as an ambient artist. Uh, she does not lose her voice in the process says Austin. And those are the shout outs again, link down below. Also Austin. And I know there's a lot of diss tracks and everything flying around this week. We're not talking about those per se in this video they will be covered in videos dropping on the fantano channel throughout the week you can hear all my thoughts there now on with the rest of the weekly track roundup worst tracks of the week we have a handful we have a few bam one sia featuring paris hilton fame won't love you what are the chances that a sia song featuring paris hilton is good next to zero and it pans out. All right, uh, moving on from there. Nicki Minaj has come through with a Fuck the Club Up remix, which, I mean, I kind of understand because it is one of the best songs on Pink Friday too. but uh, this is a completely useless remix. Nicki Minaj does not revamp it with a new refreshing verse. Travis Scott on it is okay. Why is Chris Brown here? And all of this is uh, such a tedious experience. It's not even worth sticking around for the sexy red part. You hate to hear it. All right, moving on from there, uh, we have a uh, Hardy who is covering the classic gin and juice. And, uh, you know, given just how bad Hardy has proven to be at country music and uh, country rock metal fusion in the past, this is um, about as bad as you can imagine. Actually, two times worse. All right, moving on from there. Uh, sad to say, despite me really loving uh, Paramore's After Laughter and being a bit of a David Byrne uh, apologist, I feel like his cover of Hard Times is just not really great. The vocals are painfully awkward, even if I think the grooves and backing instrumentation are really good. And I think it's endearing. I always kind of come full circle here. And he's covering a song from them off of a record that was obviously very Talking Heads influence in the first place. But I just feel like the the uh, everything going in the other direction here is not quite working. But, um, you know, if, if you're loving it, I get it. Uh, moving on from there, Cigarettes After Sex have a new track out, uh, which is titled Dark Vacay, and they are sounding as drab and as boring as ever. I still do not get it. Uh, crucify me, why don't you? All right, let's move on to the tracks I was met on. You might like them more than me. They are as follows. Uh, we have a new one from... Uh, Freaking Yeet Heli Man is the title of this one. Uh, it's okay. It's passable. It's got some kooky lead vocals on it that I like, you know, a typical Yeet affair uh, on that front. Uh, but instrumentally and structurally, this track kind of feels like a leftover from one of his past two albums. So it's not quite as like refreshing or as, uh, you know, cool or as mind bending as the stuff he's been coming out with more recently. So this just kind of feels like, uh, you know, a bit of an extra that there's not that much to do into on uh, moving on from there logic has come through with a new track 44 ever and um you know he's just got a, a, another fast flowing shorty in the lead up to this new record that i'm just not really seeing what's what's the direction what's the angle what's the whatever you know he's not really working or kind of focusing on his song craft he's just kind of like throwing bars out there and kind of not leaving us with much to hang on to in terms of uh, topical focus tune anything even his beat choices i think have just been kind of okay you know the rapping is on point 
the performance is fire, but uh, you know, beyond that, the song doesn't really have a whole lot to dig into. Uh, we also have uh, One More Time Around with a third single, Kings of Leon, with nothing to do uh, from their forthcoming record. Can we please have fun uh, from the sound of the guitars and drums on this one? Sounds like they are trying to have fun. The vocals are a bit grating, but uh, you know, this is Kings of Leon in their uh, surprisingly wild mode uh, on this new album cycle. So uh, you know, I, I support it, honestly, uh, even if I'm not particularly crazy about that track. Uh, Charlie Crockett, country man, Charlie Crockett. He's had some really strong lead singles in the lead up to this new record, uh, especially $10 Cowboy. And, you know, I kind of like his classic country sound that he's been dishing out thus far, but he kind of gave us a, a bit of a, a switch up with this latest single, Solitary Road, where he actually, believe it or not, kind of goes more like 70s Dylan with the foghorn voice and the spacey production. I mean, it's it's not bad. And it's, and it's an era of Dylan that often goes underappreciated and I think uh, just... Uh, massively under-referenced in a lot of modern singer-songwriter music, but um, I just feel like uh, Charlie, this is not necessarily his uh, strong suit per se, even though the tune I think is okay. Uh, moving on from there, White Reaper and Spiritual Cramp have come through with a new kind of crossover single collaboration type dealy. The track Whatever You Say Man is a badass hard rock and little indie punk rock fusion cut uh, that you can uh, you know bob your head to, mosh to. Uh, we also have this new one from Cochise, which is uh, kind of a happy uh, Christian rage type cut with some catchy flows. Uh, not a whole lot of substance or uh, you know structure to it or anything like that. But uh, you know the the vibe is right. I'll, I'll say that, and it's definitely a, a kind of a sweeter approach to the sound that we haven't heard a lot of uh, artists do for sure. We have lots of glitzy synthesizers, crazy beat switch ups on this new Ag Cook cut second single. Uh, from the forthcoming album, Soul Breaker is the name of this new one. And um, we also have one over here uh, from none other than Suicide Boys, a lengthy title on this one that I'm just kind of reminding myself of. Are you going to see the rose in the vase or the dust on the table? That is the title of the track. <laughs> um, it's not quite as ICP coded as their last single to this forthcoming album. Uh, and I'm actually liking the tuneful chorus on this one quite a bit, even if the verses aren't sticking with me uh, too much, to be honest. All right, moving on from there to uh, my favorite tracks of the week. They are as follows, a handful of those as well. Bam, new one from Stove God Cooks with Stoop, Stoop on production. Uh, we Balling Again is the title of this one. Uh, grimy Flows. Uh, boisterous and very charismatic lead vocals and rhymes from Stove God Cooks. Great chemistry, great meld. Uh, pretty much uh, what you see is what you get. And uh, Stove God Cooks has been consistent with the quality as of late. That is also true of this track. If you're looking for some, you know, very druggy, again, grimy hip hop. Uh, moving on from there, Antichrist Siege Machine uh, comes through with some uh, blast beats, some war metal on this piled swine track, which is absolutely ferocious and killer, uh, quite deadly, actually, I would say. Uh, give this one a shot. It is um, definitely something if you're looking to have your face melted. Vengeance of Eternal Fire. Uh, their new record is out now. Uh, also kind of feeling this new track from Nas and DJ Premier. I don't know if this is like an official album track single that we're going to hear on uh, Project Into the Future, or if this is just these two teaming up to to gear up for an album cycle for something that's going to be coming down the pipe because Nas does drop a bar at the end of this track uh, saying that he is in album mode, presuming, presumably with DJ Premier, which you love to see. I mean, obviously, you know, these guys have very, very long and significant history together. And uh, collaboratively speaking, they are in rare form on this track. Nas with all the history references and the wordplay, DJ Premier's chops and uh, freaking rhythms are just uh, on another level. Uh, they are just uh, really kind of bring the best out in each other on this track and i have a feeling that um we uh th that that there is much better to come uh, from these two with whatever they're kind of cooking up from here all right um also want to shout out this new uh, super freak ep from machine girl the second track on it really kind of blew me away with how uh, groovy and wild uh, it is, uh, but you know, the, the entire thing, given that it is machine girl and you're talking about, you know, in uh, touches of industrial hip hop and, uh, you know, really fast paced 
high BPM electronica, glitch stuff, noise stuff too. Uh, it's all hitting pretty hard. It's all pretty out there. Dance in the Fire is the name of the cut that I want to push your guys way off of this new EP, which uh, again is out now and is wild as hell. So I'm loving that. Uh, also loving this new track from Jamie XX, Wild Dance Cut. Wild Dance Cut from Jamie XX. If there is more to come, like this on a new album, I will be very happy this year. Batty on the Floor featuring Honey Dijon. This one is absolutely killer. You cannot miss this. Uh, shout out also to uh, Canadian indie rock uh, project Islands, uh, who I've not heard from in a while. Have a new record on the way. What Occurs is the title of it. And uh, this song over here, Drown a Fish, has some great riffs, some uh, very sticky guitar licks and some solid lead vocals as well. Um, Canadian indie rock has uh, not sounded quite as solid as this is in a while. So, all right. Uh, from there, we move on to Fontaine's DC, uh, Starburster. Yeah, it's some really fantastic killer post-punk with uh, some insane beats and um, how do I say? Gasps? Just like wild gasps in between the gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Those sort of like, you know, the rests between the guitar riffs throughout the track that, you know, kind of explaining them in concept don't sound very cool or crazy or like wild, but actually hearing them in practice, it is insane. And it kind of makes the entire track. Uh, so absolutely do not miss this new track. And, and look, um, I have never been a big Fontaine's DC guy. I've always been kind of underwhelmed by a lot of their material, but I just kind of feel like this song uh, really stood out to me. And I feel like they're kind of reaching a new level of creativity and um, you know, just unorthodoxy with the way they're uh, kind of approaching their instrumental palettes. A couple more uh, shout out to Backwash, who has come through with this uh, amazing conceptual multi phased experimental hip hop cut uh, with. Um, an instrumental palette that's kind of drifting away a little bit from the industrial hip hop stuff, but uh, for the better, I think, you know, hearing her rap over an instrumental that is a bit more nuanced and dynamic is pretty cool and thrilling and dramatic, especially given the narrative of the track. Um, and the second half of it is absolutely killer as well. So, uh, you know, I mean, listen to this thing. It's absolutely a uh, uh, mind blowing. It seems like uh, backwash is getting more ambitious with each release and I love to hear it. And uh, finally, uh, the wonderful Amber Mark has a new record on the way, sophomore album. Uh, first track from it is coming around again. And just like some of the best songs from her debut, we are getting hit with a big, fat, glamorous uh, piece of soul, pop soul with uh, just heavy instrumentation. It's so glitzy. It's so pretty. The vocal performance is off the chain, too. I think she's gotten better with her vocal delivery, with her singing, with her volume, with her intensity. And um, yeah, it's just super hooky, super catchy, uh, very passionate, very fiery, and I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, excited for the new record. And that is going to be it for the weekly track roundup. You guys are the best. Thank you very much for watching. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or a link to subscribe to the channel. Uh, Anthony Fantano, Weekly Tracks, forever.